Yo, what is good people? It's your boy Zeus here today and we are back with a DMZ video and this one is very, very different to what I usually post. Um, but it's still in DMZ and it will definitely, definitely give you guys a boost in your gameplay and your gun skill by using these guns. Um, so I've got three guns I'm using today and these obviously are going to be in your insured weapon slots. So starting off we have the AK-47 which is obviously the cast off 762. But uh, where do I start with this gun? Like, this gun is an absolute tank since the new update and patch. Um, I'm using a selected few attachments which you'll see at the end of the video. So definitely stick around for that. All I'm doing at the moment is going around showing you what it does to, against AI. What the recoil is like and what it does against actual operators. So as you can see it's literally just tanking through all of the AI with, with ease. Like you don't even really need to put that many bullets into them. But uh, we'll be moving on to the MP7 in just a second. Uh, now this gun, wow, <laughs> I didn't really rate this gun at the start of DMZ or the start of Warzone and it was just, I felt like it was always just left behind uh, all of the other submachine guns, obviously you had the Vaznev, you had the um, P90, this one just didn't seem to hit hard and it just seemed to deplete ammo very very quickly but boy did this gun turn into an absolute animal. Um, it just seems to take out teams really, really quickly. Uh, the time to kill on this gun is insanely fast since the update as well. Also, I'm using the new camo, which is the Cherry Blossom. Uh, I think it's like the Mastery one. It did take me actually a little while to unlock this, um, considering I had to play multiplayer for quite a few times, and I don't really play multiplayer that much anymore. Since the new update and doing all the DMZ missions and stuff like that, I just have no time for multiplayer. Um, as you can see, this dude right now, I don't know what it is about people, but I feel like they call people out for cheating all the time. And I did see him on a roof, but I just didn't play no mind to him because I knew he would jump down if I just ignored him. So he jumped down, ended up killing him, and he started calling me a cheater. But it is what it is. I mean, if you're going to call people a cheater, which he will probably report me after this game and put me in shadow band lobbies, but it is what it is. So uh, <laughs> moving forward, we still are on the MP7. Um, and in this game, I managed to take out, I think, three uh, teams of three. Um, it, literally with ease, there was one part where I thought I should have died, but um, I get a really sense of satisfaction taking out teams solo. Like, it's so fun. And definitely these classes will definitely help you do that as well. Also, moving forward, I am definitely going to be changing the streaming schedule because I've recently just unlocked the memberships for my channel, which is definitely going to be a big thing for DMZ. Now, for streaming, I'm probably going to be doing um, one day doing DMZ for subscribers, and um, it'll be like a, whoever gets in a stream first, if you know what I mean. Um, but if you're a membership, um, like on my channel, like if you subscribe to a membership, um, you will get like literally first dibs on coming in on DMZ that like, you can literally message me privately um, Through like discord or you can message me privately through something else which I'll definitely set up But um, just stick around and when you when you do see it on a video where it says membership or add membership um, Just read what it says or I might even do a whole completely different video for this But um, on screen right now, I'm using the Victus and this sniper is an absolute demon um, it seems to just aim in so so fast with these attachments and it seems to do a lot of damage and I know recently the snipers just haven't really been hitting hard apart from the one one shot kill sniper what I was put in for St. Patrick's Day but apart from that there is just no sniper so definitely definitely be using this but uh, wrapping it up now you will be seeing the loadouts in just a second so head over there and uh, take your time if you need to pause the video at any of the tunings please feel free to do so. So first up we have the Victus class and this is going to be the attachments for it. So starting off we have the Bruin Q900 grip and the tune in for that is as on the screen. Um, this sniper definitely hits hard for sure as you see in the actual gameplay there. Uh, this bit I just left normal, I didn't do any of the tuning on the uh, ammunition. The VLK laser, I did some tuning on this and I went for aim down sight speed and sprint to fire. Um, I do like to quick scope a lot on Call of Duty, so this is kind of predominantly for that build, but you can definitely hard scope with it as well. The optic, I changed it to the SPX80. Um, and the tuning for this is on the screen. Put it to far because this one is just a 6.6 .6, uh, sniper scope, so it's not going to be one of them scopes where it's insanely far. Uh, just bear that in mind. So moving over to the XRK Rise for your stock, and the tuning is as on the screen. 
Um, like I said previously, definitely pause the video and to make it a little bit easier for your tunings, if you're on PC, use the, uh, the mouse and you can get it exactly with the tunings on that. So moving forward, we are going over to the cast off 762. And the tunings on this are going to be the ZLR Talon 5, Evtac Gripper, High Velocity Ammunition, 40 round mag and the AIM OPV4. So the tuning is this for your Talon 5. Uh, moving on next we have the FTAP Gripper and the tunings for this one as well. And this one's kind of definitely for uh, more of the velocity on your gun. Because this AK just drops people so quick and it's just insane. And this tuning is very important for your high velocity ammunition. Put it all the way up to damage range and for your bullet velocity. Uh, there's obviously no tuning for your uh, magazine. Then you have the optic, the AIM OPV4. Um, very common optic to use and a lot of the pro players keep using this optic and it's very very clean now this one's entirely up to you on the bottom one I usually just have it on uh, minus 0.32 but you can put it to close far however you like so moving on to the next gun we have the MP7 now for this these are the attachments on the screen and the muzzle is going to be the lock shot tuning for this I've kept normal and then moving on to the Schlager Tango for your under barrel uh, the tuning for this is more towards aim down sight speed and your hip walking speed. And then moving forward, we go to the Schlager Soldier Grip. And then you want to have this down to sprint to fire and your aim down sight speed. And then moving on, the last two attachments is your demo stock. And again, this one's more for aim down sight speed and your um, aiming idle stability. And then we have the VLK laser, which is a very popular laser and it definitely, definitely still works. So here's the tune-ins for this one as well. Uh, it's been your boy Zeus and if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like down below. And if you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace.